Vikings returns for the second half of its final season on December 30th, but rather than airing weekly on the History Channel, all 10 episodes will drop on Amazon Prime Video. Those without a subscription will still be able to watch the series wrap up on History, but not until 2021, begging the question, has the haphazard manner in which Vikings has aired contributed to its cancellation? Even before the deal with Amazon, some may have wondered if the separation of the later seasons into two halves, each with large gaps in between, alienated fans who were never sure when the show was airing. Although each half season contained 10 episodes, the same number as the earlier unsplit seasons, the uncertainty may still have been a factor. Others may blame the loss of Travis Fimmel as Ragnar Lothbrok at the end of season 4 for the decline in ratings. However, while many felt Ragnar's sons have not measured up to the charisma of their father, the loss of viewership after Fimmel's departure was only slightly more than the drop between previous seasons. According to showrunner Michael Hurst, bringing Vikings to an end was a choice rather than a consequence of a shrinking audience. In a Variety interview, Hurst said, I always knew where I wanted the show to go, and more or less where it would end if I was given the opportunity. After six seasons and 89 episodes, that's what I felt, finally, I'd done. Perhaps Vikings just ran out of historical material to adapt. The show took liberties with the tale of the Age of the Vikings and its legendary hero, and could have continued to do so. But details about the actual raids on England and France are thin. The scripted drama was already well outside the normal History Channel fare in terms of historical accuracy. Whatever the reason might be for what some consider a premature end for the highly successful Vikings, Hearst promises fans a dramatic ending, saying, If you have tears to weep, be prepared to weep them as you watch season six. I'm very proud of the show. I did what I wanted to do. That's the truth.